around. in 
fucking around. We cleared out the last few reclaimed that were left, but I got some bad news. The savages had the presence of mind to walk off with the key to this cache. Shep followed the freak with the key into the cannery. Got his legs blown off for the trouble. Poor fucker. The whole thing is wired to blow. Like that crazy setup we defused at Hotel Eclair. You know, in the French Quarter. Much sloppier, but the same principle. Reclaim set us up good this time, but she can't last long in there. We'll smoke her out. AJ. Think murder. Floor by floor we fought. Five bloody and costly weeks to clear the entire building. By the time our climb was through, and the building was secure, her numbers were reduced to 36. Twelve brave, beautiful souls lost. But their sacrifices were not in vain. We had our home. Our tower. Word of our success spread like a wild Every day more and more survivors found their way to our gates. And we welcomed them with arms wide open. We had the room to grow, and we grew quickly. In those early days, we were unified. And as a result, we were prosperous. One collective mind. One collective vision. They allowed us to regain control of our lives. But...
wanders. Death what a waste. Exiled, right? Is that your mantra?
destroying your- Sneaking around.
mama always has a plan. Got to keep the faith. There is only one way to purity, and that is through discipline. Discipline and obedience. Some may think that it is a way to hold you down. No, I say. It is a way to bring you up. Why? Look what has become of our world. Look at the chaos, the fear, the desperation. You will not find that in the tower. It is not just me. The tower is all of us. And all of us work as a collective community. And the heart and soul of that collective community is discipline. Discipline destroys the virus of chaos. In these walls, we thrive. Imagine having a dog. And you love that dog, that dog is a part of your home. But if it runs around, shitting and pissing over everything, what kind of home do you have? Now, discipline that dog. Make that dog bend to a will that supports you both. Why? Because if the dog was outside, it could not protect the home. If that dog was outside, he would not be able to experience the comfort that you have. But to assimilate that dog inside, it must be disciplined. It must have boundaries. And so with those boundaries, that dog can thrive inside. Be a part of that home as equally as you are a part of that home. That dog now has a sense of greater purpose. It will protect you and everything you hold dear inside those walls. It will not let anyone or anything come in without defending it to its last breath. That is real community. 